Um, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with someone who lives in the uh, uh, states there who's got a Twitch channel. I'm gonna link that. He, but he wants to do audio only. Of course, it's it's more comfortable that way. A lot of YouTubers find it that way, you know. It's completely normal, you know. Like Leafy did the same thing, you know. But man, this it's nice to talk to someone in the, who actually lives in the states and doesn't like when you heard me talk about the brainwash stuff that would go on in school, right? Eh? That I told you about that I remember. I remember hearing that the whole time. Like, it's insane, huh? Yeah, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. I hear uh, the same shit that go up there, go on out here. Like, they tell us that Canada ain't good. Like, but we hear a lot of stuff like on the news and shit. But guess what? You're right, and you're hearing from an actual Canadian, my friend. <laughs> you, they, they're right. I thought that was false too, but when I was in school, until I decided to look it up myself, I should probably be seeing that. On. So, like my cool sunglasses on, which is yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's freaking crazy though how scenes get. It all goes from state to state too. Like, yeah, his state is in California, fifty-two percent the tax rate. And I looked at Maine recently, two point two percent. That's got me sold on the whole Maine idea, right there. And the fact that a state just beside California is like, it's per, pretty close to that same percentage, which is insanity. Like. They just want to drive a population out or something. Like, and then they do this manipulation where they say, make people think that's only going to affect the rich, but ends up affecting every single person. It's, it's a little scheme that they always seem to pull. <laughs> it's pretty insane. And I've been telling him, like, to think about in the future, right, when he gets back to work or whatever, that he should probably plan on escaping California, because that 52%, that's half your income. That's insanity. And the tax rate that low, man, it's, that's even lower than Canada. Imagine how high the tax rate for Canada is going to go because of these COVID loans. Oh my God. I don't even want to picture it. You're probably going to be 62% or something like that. Crazy like that. Ugh. Imagine that happens. Oh my God. That would be bad, huh? Hey? Yeah. Imagine if he gets the 62% because of oh, these coats. I'm sorry, I, I had some doubt you forgot I'm drunk. But yeah, um, yeah, the taxes out here are stupid, property taxes out here are stupid. Like, it's just, it's rough, yeah, in California. Out of every state out here, like California, New York, San Francisco, like, these are the roughest states to be. And it's crazy, just looking up a state right beside it is that low. I don't see why they, like, that's just literally destroying a whole state by doing that. Like, he's lucky he's not work right now. I, mean, I didn't think you'd even want to work having to give 52% of your income to the freaking government. God. Canada's, uh, I think it's like 15% or so, but it's probably going to go up to 62%, something around that, because of the COVID loans. That's bullshit. 
Uh, I'm dreading when I see that happen. I'm really dreading that. And then, like, yep, I'm escaping to in the United States. Sure, sure. At least to Maine. So I'm still close to my family and all that, you know, because Maine's very close to New Brunswick. Luckily, huh? <laughs> But definitely plan on immigrating there in the future, and if it gets raised to that percentage, and I'm trying to build a life here till that happens, then yeah, then I'm just keeping. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna be wait for all this uh, cove stuff going on, you know. Wait for that then, so it's cheaper across the border and all that. I mean, it's it's pretty cool, man. Being like, like to talk to so many, like so many people I speak to around here uh, are are brainwashed with that because they probably spent like me going through school their whole lives being drilled that drilled in their head. The and that's what they'll tend to just use like one state that's like right bad and then use that and say that's the whole United States it goes by state to state which is the great thing so something taxing like that happens like states got more control over it which is kind of good with that this thing, but that's the best thing about it you know, at least you have the option to get moved to a state right beside California. You don't even have to move far. So we should, but I definitely be making a plan to escape. I'm making like a literal plan to escape me. I'm gonna get to start researching it now. And all that, and plus. Have enough money saved up and all that. Really hope to. Like, like, it is insane. <laughs> That's what the, the can basically did. What um, Michael Moore uh, did. Uh, Michael Moore did that, pretty much the same thing with Canada in his documentary, where he uh, chose one place, Toronto, which has American quality, top-notch, number one health care, and show that and, and say, this is all of Canada, basically, and not showing any other provinces. Or any other places, and saying that's all of Canada's healthcare to make it look super perfect. But then these YouTubers came out who live in Canada and exposed all of that, which is is crazy. But man, like that's what I find the th most appealing. On top of that, to in the United States, like the fact that if something goes wrong like that, it ain't gonna affect the whole damn country. You can friggin' at least get jump into another state, you know? Like there's an escape route from this, you know? Hey? I'll just send it off another email. Yeah, it's it's nice though, though. In the states, at least you got the option to go to another state if the laws get all screwed up. Canada, you know, not really. You the can't, only thing that changed is really taxes. You can't you know, really like socially stuff don't really change. It's only taxes. Because I've lived in Northern California, Southern California, Texas, Miami, Utah, 
And like the only thing that really changed was was taxes. But socially prejudice, like is different everywhere. Like you know, it's less Canada, more Canada is like really bad with. It's pretty close to the states with racism and stuff. They like to make you think that it's a right friggin' a progressive place, but he is not. I see police being racist all the time, even around here. So it goes on everywhere in the world. You can't control it, you know. Best thing you can do is just document it and video the whole time, right? Protect yourself. That's the best way to protect yourself is with a camera, man. That's what I do all the time. I do not trust talking to the police without filming. I feel in danger if I'm not filming with the police around. Like, like they literally made up a, a false report saying my mom had needle marks all over her arms and everything saying there was a bunch of pills and everything laying around. You know what those pills were? Vitamin B12. That was apparently the, that was apparently the opiates he saw. In the dumpster mattress that uh, it was uh, that he called it in the report it was actually a $3,000 mattress. Completely lied about a report, and this was just us making a report about a stolen phone, and that's what they end up doing. I mean, it's just horrible, man. But I'm glad it stopped now because of me documenting it. Like now, I can literally go right up to the cop and point them, pointing at them, and they won't try anything. <laughs> That's good positive. And I hope to share that with everyone I know, man. Because I, I want stuff like that to change. It's just ridiculous. It really is, man. And, they're, and their RCMP especially are being extremely friggin' racist with their people from the uh, Lustigish there. And I'm f best friends with a lot of people over there. Because you, like, Utah was the worst out of them all. For me, being black, being black, Utah was the worst. Yeah. Yeah, but, it's like, like I said, filming and all that, st stuff like that, will save you. But it happens everywhere, like, it's, it's Canada, well, they they mostly go after people from Westigish. It's really bad. I saw one of these videos that were posted on Face Facebook with one of them. I actually encouraged them to start filming it and stuff. I'm really glad I've done that. To say, like, you don't need violence. Camera, a camera is way more effective than violence. Yeah. Way more effective. And we've got more people to document and everything. Because, I mean, people thought I was just trying to get views by putting names in there. Hey, I, there are, mo most of the people over there are my best friends. Of course, I'm going to talk about them. I don't care what race you're, if you're dealing with police harassment, I'm going to talk about it. I'm sick and tired of these friggin' divides and that stuff. Like, the person's a good person, you know? Like, it's just friggin', it's horrible. It's like going backwards in time. I'm for the friggin' future. I'm for friggin' Elon Musk AI device, man. I can't wait for that. Like, that's insane. That Neuralink device there, hey?
Hey, hear me? Uh-huh. That Neuralink device? Sure, it will can cure. This is just a few examples. Anxiety, depression, um, Alzheimer's, um, brain uh, paralyzation, and pretty much any medical condition, basically. With a rechargeable device, no medications. Like Elon Musk is something else. I can't believe that. Like that seems like magic. That seems like stuff you'd see in a movie. And you're seeing it and I watched the live stream of the surgery happen and everything. I couldn't believe it, man. They actually fuse AI basically it's like brain or brains have wires in it and what it does is basically artificially stimulates the damaged wires that cause all these disorders. And it's really cool. It's just really amazing, like, the fact that it's advanced. But you wouldn't see it advance like that in Canada. You get the ration healthcare, you know? So. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end off the video there. This is my little chat with my buddy who's living in California. I'm going to link his Twitch, too. And, um, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Want to do, like, an outro, too? Hey? Hey? Yo, do an outro, just... Say peace out to the video. Not to me, to the video. What happens to the video? Just do, say peace out for the video, not for our... Oh, oh peace out, peace out. Alright, yeah, well, hopefully you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and I'm going to show the channel in the description. And this is D'Angelo Pitcher, and I am peacing out.